Hey everybody, my name is April and her name is Emma and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. So today we are doing an awesome collab put on by Jen from Life Joy with Lady Dunn. She has invited a whole bunch of different Disney friends to join us and it is 314 which um, is Pi Day. If you don't know what Pi is it's the um, mathematical number that's like 3.14 and like keep going I just know 3.14 and it's Pi Day. Um, a lot of people are doing some sweet pies there's some savory pies but we decided to do a pizza pie. So, Me? it was. <laughs> She's making some pizza pie and I'm helping her. Yes. So, we are doing Marvelous March. So, we thought we would do a fun Marvel spin on it. And we are going to make a Spider Man pizza pie. So, right now we have the oven preheating. And we're going to let you know what all we're using. You ready? So first, you're going to need a, a, pan, a to pan to put it on. Um, we chose the rectangle pan because we are using this pizza crust. It's Pillsbury. Um, and it comes out as a rectangle instead of a circle. So we're using a cookie sheet. I'm also going to be using aluminum foil just to help with quick cleanup. You just kind of put it on. Then when you're done, there you go. Um, we have lots of cheese. We have some string cheese some mozzarella cheese shredded and then we have a slice of provolone cheese we also have pizza sauce pepperonis and some black olives and we will start putting together our pie crust to start this off we are going to follow directions on the back of the tube and um it says to preheat the oven to 400 which we have done and before we put any toppings on you're going to need to pre-bake the so we're going to use a piece of aluminum foil, put it down, and pop open this thing, which these are scary. I have a very bad history with crescent rolls and things. I hate them. I just saw the mark. If you notice, I took off the aluminum foil because it was not working for me. So I just sprayed the pan instead with some avocado oil. And um, now we are going to open up our cheese sticks because we are making a stuffed crust pizza. I figured if we're making some kind of pie, it's going to need to be stuffed with something. So we're going to slowly open up these string cheeses. Except it's so, hard with the string cheese. <laughs> you're going to open up your string cheese and then you're going to kind of put it down a little bit into the like not so far onto the side but into a little <laughs> bit and then you are going to roll your crust over oh, onto mine. the cheese. I will grab yours in just a second. Okay. Thank you for holding it for me. And then you're going to go ahead and do it around all of the edges. So now that we have stuffed cheese onto all of our sides, you're mm -hmm. going to follow directions and do the pre-prep on the dough and put it in the oven for eight minutes. So this is total like optional, but I found it in the fridge and I'm just gonna use some Papa John garlic butter to kind of season up my crust. Do you wanna help? Yep. Okay. Here, I'm gonna Put some down and then you rub it all over it, okay? Okay. It's your job to put on it. It's my job to rub it everywhere? Yes. Rub it on the spin. whole thing? Yes, rub it. Well, that's fun. Rub it all over the crust. Here, let me help you just a little bit. Bumpy on the sides. It is. Why is it so bumpy? Um, because we stuffed it. With cheese. That makes it bumpy. Yep. And then now I'm gonna put the pizza sauce on top of what we just put on there. So go ahead and scoop it out. Three scoops. We can start with three. Two. Three. 
Looks like we might need one more. Let's do one more. Four. Four. Okay. Spread it all over the crust. And on the sides, too? Nope, just the inside of the crust. You do the sides and I do the inside. Well, we don't need it on the outside this time. And this is totally something you could do with your kids or niece or nephew and just... I mean, we're going to do like a special topping, but you could pick out whatever toppings you wanted. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do our toppings. Just, just do and ones do that you want. A little bit more. And, and if you want to make this kind of pie. Next, we're going to work on the toppings. We're going to kind of do a uh, double layer cheese because we like cheese here. So first, we're going to throw a little shed cheese on the top. Want to throw some on there? Spread it all over. This is my snow except cheese in it. And the snow is spraying around. Then we are going to add just a little bit of the pepperoni. Of course we'll be putting some pepperoni on the top, at the top but it will be more decorated. Decorative, not decorated. You're already doing a good, good job on it. Good job on it. Thank you. Now we're going to add some more cheese on top of that. This time we're going to put more of a thick layer of cheese. Can we have some? A handful? Not a huge handful. Because that was going to happen. We'll clean that up in a little bit. There. Pretty much you're going to want to cover up all the sauce on the pizza. Why? Have it be a little bit white because then we are going to work on... So next we're going to work on our Spider-Man face. And I'm going to start with just making an oval of um, pepperonis. So now that I've made the oval for the face, I'm going to take a slice of provolone and bend it in half, making his eyes. Uh-huh. Because his eyes look like half a circle. Yes. Oh. And then to outline the rest of his face, we are going to be using black olives. Uh-huh. For his mouth. After we've outlined the provolone with the black olives, it is time to put it back in the oven for 6 to 10 minutes. Just kind of watch it to see, make sure you're not going to burn your crust. So this is our finished product. I think he looks like Spider-Man. So I guess it's job well done. You like it? Mm-hmm. Think he looks like Spider-Man? The cracks and the... The pepperoni? The pepperoni look like Spider-Man and used food coloring to color his webs. Yeah. Webs into looking like a little bit of cracks on Okay. Him. Well, that's it. Please go watch everyone else. Like I said earlier, there are some sweet ones. There's some savory ones. Um, everyone's going to do an amazing job. I'm pretty sure I have the most simple pie out of everyone, but we are definitely going to be eating it for dinner. But that's it for today. Please like and subscribe. Everyone participating will be down below in the description box. And we will see you real soon. Bye. You always forget to watch.